So quite a while ago, I started streaming on Twitch. I was building this 8-bit computer, and then I had to interrupt it. I tell you a little bit about what is going on right now in my life uh, uh, throughout the process of this video. But uh, during that time, I started ordering parts for a dedicated PC so I can finally like separate the live overflow video production and streaming stuff from all my other kind of work. I think that would streamline a lot of my work better and uh, yeah, separate things. So that's always uh, helpful. I have never built a PC myself. Okay, so here we are. A wannabe computer expert builds his first PC graphics card, mouse, and motherboard, some NVMe SSDs. Let's download some RAM, mm, the power supply, the keyboard, and the case. Holy crap, motherboards look fancy nowadays. Look at that. My last PC is uh, probably like eight or 10 years old. So like this looks so fancy to me. I guess I put in the CPU and the cooler first. They even link a YouTube video. This is like the future, I like it. So the past few months I've been uh, working on my master thesis. I'm sure I will uh, make a couple of videos about this uh, in the future when I'm done. It's going well, but I'm really in the time pressure now slowly. So today is a day where I wanna relax a little bit. And so I decided to uh, build this computer now because the parts have been laying around here for a while. Let me open that YouTube video because I have no clue what I'm doing. Okay, so I know this is weird, but let me explain. So over the past few months, I haven't really uploaded consistently. And the main reason for that, I already explained in, a, in the last update video that I might have to refocus and I had to finally finish my master thesis, which I just handed in last week. And with that uh, big chapter in my life closed. Oh, wait. There we go. This is my master thesis. Yeah, I handed in in last week. So a big chapter closed for me. Frito is the biggest tick collector. This is heavy. So maybe you are wondering, will there be changes to the YouTube channel? Yeah, it's a Minecraft channel now. Just kidding. <laughs> but it's a piano channel now. Just kidding. I will continue as always. Yeah, so this is finished. My personal life also has seen some significant changes over the past few months and I'm still in kind of a transition period. So to be honest, I don't know exactly uh, what will come next for the channel and Life Overflow. I think I will keep it this way that I don't upload weekly. Over the past two to three years, I have like worked, worked really, really hard. I almost had no weekends and I basically worked like two full-time jobs. And it was really, really fun, but I also had some times where I thought that videos weren't good enough and I, I was just like grinding them out and that's not really enjoyable. So I will probably stick to the inconsistent uploads. I think that works way better for my channel because that means I can react to news and if I feel like really motivated to cover something I just do it and then I upload it rather than having to plan out videos weeks before and stressing about making sure that I have enough of a buffer to like go to Christmas or whatever. I'm also pretty happy about the Patreon because it's a per video thing and not a monthly thing and now that I don't release monthly also the amount that you are pledging is like not that huge per month so uh, hopefully maybe I get a bit more supporters per video and then I have rather more high quality videos or so um, through the time. I, I think that that works best for the kind of channel I have. Wow that's shiny down there. Okay. Okay now the thermal paste. I've never in my life applied thermal paste. I'm really Please clean them off first. Oh, this feels wrong. Fancy RAM. Okay, CPU fan attached. Okay, I've never placed a motherboard inside of a case. Crap, I have to get it out again. I fucked up. Oh, shit. Yeah, so 
you're probably wondering why I do this vlog thing. And there are basically two reasons that I wanted to explain. Well, let me start with kind of the pitch, the emotional side of it. So, you know, I'm a millennial. I have now finished my master thesis, personal life changes. I think I'm ready for like a quarter or third life, mid midlife, pre-midlife crisis or something like that. You know, I start to get less hair here in my corners. Uh, and I feel like I wanted to try something out, you know, maybe connecting with the Zoomers or something, trying to remain cool. It's a joke, but it's also probably partially true, if I'm completely honest. Uh, so what are these other cables? What's that? That's USB, HD audio. And what the heck is this kind of a connector? Is that SATA? Oh, that's fancy thing here. Manual. Where's the manual? I need the manual. Oh. So yeah, this this week I'm traveling to an event in London and I thought about vlogging it, but to do that I need to have the technical experience, like figure out how this all technically works, how this with the SD cards and the audio works. Uh, and also I can already tell that this camera is damn heavy and my arm is hurting. I definitely need to work out more too. I guess that's another thing I should be doing in like a pre-midlife crisis starting to do sports, I guess. Can't wait to play Minecraft on this graphics card. Holy crap, our graphics card is huge. Another thing about vlogging is that it's like super awkward to just speak into a camera when you are not at home. Though, for my first test, I decided to go like here in the middle of nowhere where nobody's around and it still feels damn awkward. I'm like super self-conscious and I'm like looking into the distance always trying to see if there are people so I can quickly stop. But yeah, you know, it's a challenge, you know, like I wanna, I'm always about like learning and challenging myself and I feel like this vlog is a little bit of a, an experiment, you know, a challenge, you know, maybe, maybe I will realize I don't like it, but at least I tried it without having with, without judging it or demonizing it from the start. Okay, so the CPU fans are running, the graphics card fans are running. Now we also see here the code zero zero. Is that is that fine? Is that no error? Uh, I don't see output on the HDMI. CPU power LED. Oh fuck, I'm an idiot. Okay, so let's see. So now we see a lot of numbers changing. Is that good? Because it's still booting and stuff. Oh, something happens on the screen. In terms of the kinds of videos I want to do next, I don't want to say anything. Uh, for me personally, I know that when I announce things, I will get, you know, already rewarded for this announcement as if I've already completed it, even though I didn't do anything yet. And so I rather save this reward for when I actually uh, have done it. Generally, that's an advice to everybody. Try to look at yourself if you already get the reward when you announce stuff and you lose motivation afterwards. That's very true for me. And so uh, then if I can't hold that promise because I lose motivation, I just disappoint people. And so I will just do the stuff myself and when it's ready, I will announce it or release it. But I can already tell that most likely I will get some content out of my master thesis and tell you a little bit about the findings and stuff that I've done there. Uh, that's very likely and I want to cover the event I will be traveling. So these are the two things I guess I can kind of uh, mention. Now, there, there's one thing I wanted to ask you about and it's about learning. So can you please think about the resources that you use to learn something? Uh, it could be IT security related, but could also be programming um, or other technical areas, game and game dev, maybe even design or something like that. Uh, if you think about the resource that you used and what really helped you learn, could you please share them with me? I would like to review a little bit of the material that is out there. And then maybe I can make some videos where I give my opinion on um, how how relevant they are or if I think they are good resources um, and you know with the shared experience of all the people I can then recommend stuff because I get a lot of questions what I can recommend but the problem is I haven't reviewed all of that stuff myself and I don't know what exists so I would need your input the stuff you used and then I can recommend it to other people so if you can send me an email at uh, liveoverflow@gmail.com with resources that you used and found helpful uh, that would be really cool oh my god so I just joined here this main path around the corner and my sentence wasn't finished and I was so scared there would be people there but, I, but I'm alone. <laughs> oh, it's really awkward. You should try it. 
okay you know if you if you are judging all the vloggers you know try it yourself it's really awkward I think you're absolutely allowed to cringe at what I'm doing here you know like if if you feel really embarrassed for me that that's totally cool but you're not allowed to judge so like every stereotypical vlogger I guess I need a time-lapse but I've never shot a time-lapse you know like this is me experimenting trying out stuff so I need to figure out how to do a, a time-lapse with this camera also there are people approaching from over there and it's again very awkward but let's let's see. <laughs> 